Good morning, Bulldogs. Happy Wednesday, February the 10th. Today you have one journal prompt and you have your vocabulary quiz over the two stories, short stories that we read yesterday over the echidna and the platypus. So we're going to get to your assignments. Your first one is your journal prompt for Wednesday. Today is the 100th day of school. Hang on just a minute. So when I um, actually add the form, so just give me. All right, now let's click on it. I'm sorry. Let me try one more time if it doesn't work. There we go. Sorry about that. Today is the 100th day of school, so your journal prompt says, what do you think New Waverly will look or be like in 100 years? Enter your answer here. So type your response. Try to remember to use cap letters and punctuation. And hit submit when you are done. That is your first assignment. Your other assignment is your vocabulary quiz. This is in quiz form, so it should give you feedback. As it's done in the past, if you think one's right and it counts it wrong, let me know. And I will check it for you. You can send me a message on chat or um, email. So here's the quiz. It is 10 questions. The first five is multiple choice. What word matches the definition? And then all the definition or all the words are listed for the um, two stories. And then six through 10 is fill in the blank. But I've given you the words here. So... Six says what vocabulary word completes the sentence. An echidna is a blank, a mammal that lays eggs. So which one would that be? A unique, monotreme, adaptations, bro, or sense? You all type your answer in here. Six through ten, if you don't type it just like I did, it will count it wrong. So I will go back and look at that. If you misspell something or don't type it exactly how I did, it will be wrong. But I will correct it if you have the right answer. So hit submit when you're done with that and turn it in. And those are your two assignments for today. If you have any questions, let me know. Tomorrow we will be writing and Friday we will be writing. So be think putting on your thinking caps for our writing. I will talk to you guys tomorrow.